What is up guys, I'm the Senator and today we're going to be ranking every single primary and secondary weapon in Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, so on my video where I ranked the top 10 SMGs in Rainbow Six Siege based on damage per second, I said if that video hit 400 likes, I would make one where I ranked every single weapon and that's what we're going to be doing today. So this list is going to be broken up into four different categories. We're going to have handguns, DMRs, which are semi-automatic, shotguns, and I'm going to be lumping SMGs, rifles, machine pistols, and LMGs into one category that's just going to be fully automatic weapons. And I will be putting timestamps down below if you want to skip to a particular weapon class. The weapons in this list will be ranked on damage per second of the weapon, which is calculated by taking the damage of the weapon and then multiplying it by the fire rate of the weapon. You divide that number by 60, and that's how much damage the weapon can dish out in just one second. And the reason I'm basing this off of DPS is because it is the most statistically accurate way to determine how good or bad a weapon is. Overall control is important, but how easy or hard it is to control a weapon's recoil is subjective to the user. This list will show you how well the weapon is able to perform, and it's up to you, the player, to learn how to handle it. And when we talk about semi-automatic weapons, they really do not have a designated fire rate because it fires one shot per trigger pull. So when calculating DPS for semi-automatic weapons, the fire will be determined by the fire rate that is stated under the Rainbow Six Siege wiki page. And on the wiki page for each weapon, it gives you an estimate fire rate of all semi-automatic weapons. Also, all of these statistics on this list have been determined by the statistics on the R6 wiki page, and in my opinion, it's a very reliable source. However, if something doesn't add up, it is possible that wiki page did get the information wrong. And the reason I'm using the wiki page instead of the actual game is because it's easier for me to gather this information and make sure I get all of the weapons by going through the wiki page. Okay, so enough of the intro, let's get into the handguns. At number 18, we have Clash and Warden's P10C, which has a DPS of 300. At 17, we have Capital's PRB92, which has a DPS of 315. At 16, we have Zofia and Ella's RG15, which has a DPS of 348.33. Number 15 is Mozzie and Gridlock's SDP 9mm, which has a DPS of 352.5. At 14, we have Ash, Thermite, Castle, Pulse, and Nox 5.7 USG, which has a DPS of 385. At 13, we have a tie between the GSH-18 and the P-12. The GSH-18 is available for Glass, Fuse, Capkin, Tachanka, and Finca, and has a DPS of 403.33. And the P-12 goes to Blitz, IQ, Jaeger, and Bandit, and also has a damage per second of 403.33. At the number 12 spot, we have Nomad and Kaid's 44 Magnum Semi-Auto, which has a DPS of 405. At 11, we have another tie between the P9 and the 1911 Tac Ops. The P9 is a pistol that goes to Twitch, Monty, Doc, Rook, and Lion, and has a DPS of 412.5. As for the 1911 Tac Ops, this is the pistol that goes to Maverick and has a DPS of 412.5 as well. We also have another tie at the 10th spot between the MK19 mm and the USP40. The MK19 mm is the pistol that goes to Buck and Frost and has a DPS of 440. And the USP-40 is the pistol that goes to Jackal and Mira and also has a DPS of 440. Number 9 is the P226 MK25 that is equipped with Sledge, Thatcher, Smoke, and Mute and has a DPS of 458.33. Number 8 goes to the P229 which is available for Habana and Echo and has a DPS of 467.5. At number 7 we have Kavera's Illusion that has a DPS of 487.5 and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Looking at number 6, we have the M45 Musok, and this is a pistol that is equipped with Ash, Thermite, Castle, and Pulse, and this has a DPS of 531.67. Moving into the top 5, we have Ying and Legion's Q929, which has a DPS of 550. At number 4, we have Glass, Fuse, Capcan, Tachanka, and Finca's PMM, which is one of my favorites, and this weapon has a DPS of 559.17. At number three, we have a very underrated pistol, and this is Alibi and Maestro's Kertos 357, and this has a DPS of 585. Looking at number two, we have the Desert Eagle, the D50, that can come equipped with Blackbeard, Valkyrie, and Nock. This hand cannon has a DPS of 650.83. Okay, pausing the video for a second to remind you to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you can be notified every time I post a video. Okay, back to the video. And finally, at our number one spot, we have the LFP 
586 that can go to Twitch, Monty, Doc, Rook, and Lion. And this revolver has a DPS of 715, which is a huge contrast to what was the number 8 spot, which was the P10C that had a DPS of 300. Now for the DMRs, and I've also added the slug shotguns that are available to Kaid, Vigil, and Dokubi. Yes, these are technically shotguns and not DMRs, but the slug resembles a rifle way more than it resembles a buckshot shotgun, and so I think it's more fair to put it with the DMRs than put it with the shotguns. Okay, starting off with the number 7 spot, we have Dokubi and Vigil's Boss G. And the odd thing about this one is technically it has a DPS of 1041.67, which is the highest in the game, but since you can only shoot two shots before reloading, it actually has a DPS of 250. Moving on to the other slug shotgun, we have Kaid's TCSG-12, which has a damage per second of 427.5. And just a few weeks ago, this would have been higher, but he recently received a nerfed. Now looking at the number 5 spot, we have Glaze's QTS-03, which has a DPS of 449.6. At number 4, we have Dokubi's MK-14 EBR, which has a DPS of 450. Number three, we have Blackbeard's SR-25, which has a DPS of 457.5. Moving into the number two spot, we have Maverick's AR-15, which has a DPS of 465. And for the number one spot, we have a tie between the 417 and the CAMRS. The 417 is the DMR that's available to Twitch and Lion, and the CAMRS is the DMR that's equipped with Buck. Both these weapons have a DPS of 517.5. Now let's move on to the shotguns, and at the number 14 spot we have Gridlock and Castle's Super Shorty which has a DPS of 49.58. Number 13 we have Habana and Echo's Supernova which has a DPS of 60, and this is also equipped with Amaru as well. At number 12 we have the M590A1 which has a DPS of 68, and this is the shotgun that can be equipped with Sludge, Thatcher, Smoke, Mute, as well as Warden. At number 11 we have Jackal and Mira's ITA12L which has a DPS of 70.83. At number 10, we have the SG CQB, which is the shotgun that is available to Twitch, Doc, Rook, and Lion. And this weapon has a DPS of 75.08. At number 9, we have Jackal and Mira's other shotgun, which is the ITA-12S. And this is the one that is used as a secondary. And this shotgun has a damage per second of 99.17. At number 8, we have one of the favorites, which is the M870 that goes with Jaeger and Bandit. And this shotgun has a DPS of 100. At number 7, we have Thermite Castle Impulse's M1014, which has a DPS of 113.33. Coming in at number 6, we have a four-way tie. We have the SIX-12SD that can be played with Legion or Nock. We have the regular SIX-12 that can be played with Ying. We have Valkyrie's Spaz-12, and we have Frost Super-90. And all four of these weapons have a DPS of 116.67. At number 5, we have Maestro and Alibi's ACS-12, which has a DPS of 135. However, this will change pretty soon considering that it is going to move to a slug shoddy once Operation Still Wave does drop. But for the time being, it stays at a DPS of 135. At number 4, we have Kavera's Spaz-15, which has a DPS of 145. At number 3, we have Ella's FO-12, which has a DPS of 233.33. Coming in at number 2, this is a weird one because you may have noticed that I skipped the Bailiff whenever I went over the handguns, and that's because this gun is more of a shotgun than just any regular pistol, and so I felt that it belonged here in the shotgun category. But anyways, it has a DPS of 242.5, and what's really odd about this shotgun is it's really only effective within 5 meters. Outside of that, it's just an awful gun, but looking at the damage per second, it did go into the 2 spot. Looking at the number one spot, we have the Sausage 12, which has a DPS of 275, and this is the shotgun that can go with Capcan, Tachanka, and Finca. Okay, that was the shotguns, and now we're going to be moving on to the fully automatic weapons, so this will include assault rifles, LMGs, SMGs, as well as machine pistols. And I apologize if it sounds like I'm speeding through this, because I am. There are a lot of weapons on this list, and I don't want you guys to sit here for 20 minutes, so let's just get right into it. At the 48th spot, we have Kavera's M12, that has a DPS of 330. At the 47th spot, we have Doc and Rook's P90 that has a DPS of 355.67. At 46, we have Valkyrie and Warden's MPX that has a DPS of 359.67. At 45 is a huge shocker, and that's Doc and Rook's MP5, which only has a DPS of 360. At 44, we have Castle Impulse's UMP45 that has a DPS of 380. 
At 43, we have a tie between the MPK-5 and the MP5-SD. The MPK-5 is the SMG that goes to Mute, and the MP5-SD is the SMG that goes to Echo. Both of these have a DPS of 400. At the 42nd spot, we have one of my favorite weapons, the MX-4 Storm that goes to Alibi, and this weapon has a DPS of 411.67. At 41, we have Ella's Scorpion Evo 3A1, which has DPS of 414. At 40, we have another tie between Legion's T5 SMG and Kaid's AUG A3. Both of these weapons have a DPS of 420. At 39, we have Mozzie's P10 Roni, which has a DPS of 424.6. At 38, we have the 9x19 VSN that goes to Capian and Tachanka. This has a DPS of 425. At 37, we have Frost's 9mm C1, which has a DPS of 431.25. At the number 36 spot, we have Vigil's K1A, which has a DPS of 432. At 35, we have the first assault rifle on this list. We have Finca's Spear 308, which has a DPS of 443.33. At 34, we have Mozzie's Commando 9, which has a DPS of 450. For the 33 spot, we have another tie between Smoke and Knox FMG-9 and Jackal's PDW-9. Both these weapons have a DPS of 453.3. At the 32 spot, we have Amira's Vector 45 ACP, which has a DPS of 460. At 31, we have Jaeger's 416C Carbine, which has a DPS of 468.66. At 30, we have Nomad's AK-74M, which has a DPS of 476.67. At 29, we have Blackbeard's MK-17 CQB, which has a DPS of 477.75. At 28, we have the best SMG on the list, Bandit's MP-7, that has a DPS of 480. At 27, we have the first LMG on our list, and this is Zofia's LMG-E, which has a DPS of 492. At 26, we have a tie between Ash's G36C and Gridlock's F90. Both these rivals have a DPS of 494. At 25, we have Ying's T95 LSW, which has a DPS of 498.3. At the 24th spot, we have IQ and Wamai's AUG A2, which has a DPS of 504. At 23, we have Thatcher's AR33, which has a DPS of 511.82. At 22, we have Lion's V308, which has a DPS of 513.33. At 21, we have a three-way tie between Grilllock's M249 Saw, Capital's Para 308, and Capital's M249. All three of these weapons have a DPS of 520. Breaking into the top 20, we have the 6P41 that goes to Finca as well as Fuse. This LMG has a DPS of 521.33. At the 19th spot, we have IQ and Amaru's G8A1, which has a DPS of 524.17. At 18, we have Sledge and Thatcher's L85A2, and this weapon has a DPS of 524.83. At 17, we have Maestro's Aldo, which has a DPS of 525. At 16, we have Thermite's 556XI, which has a DPS of 529. Getting into the top 15, we have Clash's SPSMG9, which has a DPS of 539. At the 14th spot, we have Zofia's M762, which has a DPS of 547.5. At 13, we have Nomad's ARX200, which has a DPS of 548.3. At the 12th spot, we have Maverick's M4, which has a DPS of 550. At 11, we have IQ's 552 Commando, which has a DPS of 552. Coming in at the top 10, we have Buck's C8 SFW, which has a DPS of 558. At 9, we have Ash's R4C, which has a DPS of 559, which is just one more than Buck's C8. At the number 8 spot, we have Habana's Type 89, and this weapon has a DPS of 566.67. At number 7, we have another machine pistol, and this is Dokubi and Vigil's C75 Auto. This weapon has a DPS of 583.33. At the number 6 spot, we have Dokubi, Vigil, and Warden's SMG-12, and this weapon has a DPS of 592.67. Coming in at the top 5, we have Twitch's F2, and this weapon has a DPS of 604.33. At number 4, we have another machine pistol, and this is Habana and Echo's Bearing 9. This machine pistol has a DPS of 605. At the number 3 spot, we have Jackal's C7E, which has a DPS of 613.33. At the number 2 spot, we have Fuse's AK-12, and this weapon has a DPS of 623.3. And finally, at our number 1 spot for the highest DPS of any automatic weapon on this list, it is Sludge Smoke and Mutes SMG-11, and this machine pistol has a DPS of 740.83.
So that's it. That is every weapon in Rainbow Six Siege ranked based off damage per second. And I left out Kali, and that's because their CSRX 300 is pretty much its own thing, but it does have a damage output of 97, so I imagine the DPS would be somewhere around there. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that it sounds like I rushed through this and I just wanted to run through the list because, you know, I didn't want you guys to stay here for 20 minutes. So anyways, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you haven't already, hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. I am the Senator, and as always, have a good one.